I very much admire the Star Wars movies. For me, they are in the category of movies that have everything. They are fairy tales, they are adventurous, uh, science fiction in many ways, drama, philosophy, wisdom even. And um, if you have seen the Star Wars movies, then you might recall a very famous line, namely, don't try, do. Luke Skywalker is trying to, I think, lift a spaceship with mind power or something like that. And Yoda says, don't try, do it. That's a great advice. But just as with so many other sayings, aphorisms are like, you know, freeze-dried wisdom, a short sentence, and it contains so much. But what it contains is seldom, if ever, the whole picture. You need to walk around the elephant. You need to turn the saying around to see more. Do not try, do is great advice, but not always. I think it's great when you really have tried. But if you haven't even tried, then possibly you cannot just do. Certain things we can do right away, others we cannot. We need to try, we need to practice. So, for those who have tried, and maybe tried hard and long. Do can be fantastic advice. For those of us who haven't even tried, the better advice might be try, do, try. There, there we got both of them, do, try. So uh, let's not look down on trying. The different stages can be trying, doing, and then what? Maybe being. And uh, I'm pretty sure that this could also very well be a Yoda line. Don't do, be. Okay, but um, what's being? How do I how do I be, or how do I not, and instead am or are? How can I just be? And what is it to be? Well, to do is quite familiar to us. For example, I'm doing a lad talk right now, I'm talking, I'm moving, you see me here in action, so to say. Doing is generally outer directed, it's visible, it's uh, dancing, singing, talking, constructing, destructing, all kinds of things. So we know what doing is. But what do we know about being? And more honestly and specifically, what do I know about being? Because who are we? Who am I to talk about we? To be or not to be, asked William Shakespeare. But maybe he just got that idea from the postman. Doing is um, something quite entertaining. Doing has entertainment value. We like to see people do things. And we like to be seen by other people while doing things. Some of us 
much like also to be seen, to be trying to do things. Oh, this is so hard. Oy, oy, oy. But I should not forget that doing must not be visible. There is inner doing as well. And um, every creative artist, before he puts the pen to paper or puts down his fingers on the piano keyboard or whatever art he's doing, knows about that inner doing as well. And thinking, especially active thinking, is also doing. An affirmation is doing, very much so. I am getting better and better day by day by day. That's doing. It need not be visible at all. The invisible doing can also be auto-directed. I affirm that I'm going to win at a lottery. That's also very much auto-directed, even though nobody sees it or hears it. But what about our mysterious being then? What is being? And when I ask that, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out myself on camera. But these are my suspicions. If we go back to doing, we can distinguish between outer directed visible and invisible doing. We can also distinguish, if we want to talk about mindfulness, between mindful and mindless doing. A doing where we are aware, I know that I'm moving my hand now, and I'm aware of my butt on the chair and my voice, or not. I'm just, you know, I'm a, I'm a leaf in the wind of life. But it's still doing. Mindful doing, mindless doing, or unaware, absent doing. Being seems to be something completely else, but what? Well, we could go back to Yoda and paraphrase him further. Don't try, do. Don't even do. And don't even try to be, just be. To me it seems that being then entails acceptance on a grand scale, like accepting everything, which is really grand. Because if I don't accept anything, even a small thing, then I'm very probably trying and doing and trying to do something about it. All those earlier stages are there. But if I accept it, if I really accept it, then what is there to do? What is there to try? It is as it is, and I'm okay with it. I'm totally okay with it. I'm not trying to give the idea that I am there. I'm trying to understand it. Maybe I have it, but due to the workings of my intellect, you know, the intellect plays many tricks, some of them foul on us. Maybe I try, maybe I, or not I, but my intellect cheats me, confuses things gives me the idea that I don't understand something that I might understand maybe very well. And now, as you might see, as 
some kind of omen. The sun has come out, which feels sunny and uh, light. And uh, the thought I have finally is that one favorite doing of ours is playing masquerade. Now, I really love real masquerades, dressing up, being the Joker, being Napoleon, or whoever you want to dress up as. Great fun. We should do it more often. However, there is another kind of masquerade, and you know what I'm talking about, pretending to be somebody like this, or wanting to have that or this image, etc. Lots of makeup, both physical and non-physical. And um, it seems that being can be to discard the masquerade. And um, I will end here by trying to do that. Of course, I also have masks and image management things. But uh, one can relax.